Hello. Um, I'm thinking about, like, changing what I call y'all and starting to call y'all, like, brass babes instead of angel babes because that's more on theme with my, like, channel. So, hello, brats babes. Yeah, I like that better. It feels a lot less awkward, in my opinion. So, I'm doing, like, a mini haul um, for makeup. I decided to get more makeup since that's something I'm exploring right now. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest. I am a broke, uh... You know, um, I'm quite broke, so yeah, it all came from the Dollar Tree. I have no shame about it. I genuinely just, I know it's not the best, but I don't care. If it works, it works. So I got this. It's three different shades of pink. Um, this is blush, and it's just peachy. Um by a brand called Essentially Ageless, which never heard of it before. Oh, no, maybe it's called a, a brand called um, Be Pure or something. I think that's what it says. And then LA Colors. I decided to get some different colors to kind of add some variety to my to my um, makeup uh, collection. Liquid Eyeliner, finally. This is White Eyeliner and pink eyeliner um because you know how i am i love pink pink is iconic and i think it looks really good on me um earlier i almost lost my ring at the store and i freaked out turns out it fell in my pocket um sometimes my fingers swell so it day by day my fingers will each fit differently so the swelling has gone down in my finger, so it was no longer staying on my index finger, so I had to put it on my thumb, and it's still really loose on there. But, you know, it is what it is. I have to get it, like, resized or something, because I want it to be my wedding ring. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to, I guess, open all of that stuff. Okay. And then I'm gonna try it out. And kind of, I'm just going to kind of follow my heart and just kind of wing it. But yeah, um, it all came from the dollar store. This one's LA Colors. Ooh, it's um, crease proof or something. Allegedly. Yeah, crease proof. Allegedly. I'll always say allegedly until something is confirmed. Okay, this is really cute. It's very light and it's like got a very greenish tone too, like the actual packaging. And I think that's actually really cute. And it's very interesting. Like it's partially like, it, it lets light through. It's like partially see-through-ish. Like you see what I mean though? Like I could put my finger behind you here and you see it. Yeah, anyway, like obviously you're not gonna see it where the little um, metal makeup pans are sitting. Um, clearly, but where there's not those makeup pans blocking the view, you can see through it. Okay, now I've opened the blush. Now let's go ahead and open the liquid eyeliner. I've never done a cat eye before, like ever in my life. So that's an exciting new thing to try. Um, I was really on the fence, like I was really debating with myself whether or not I should get this before I ultimately decided, you know what, let's give it a go. What can it hurt? Next thing you know, I'm doing a cat eye or maybe I'll like do something else, something unique or different with my makeup because my eyes are not a very conventional shape. You know, so makeup doesn't wear on me in the same way that it wears on other people. And so I have to kind of adapt how I do things. So I don't I don't do things like typical people, I guess, because it just doesn't work with me as well, in my opinion. But now I have opened ugh, the little pink eyeshadow palette. Um, like I said, I really love my pink eyeshadow so much. I just, pink is really my color. It brings out the green in my eyes. It complements my skin tone quite beautifully. It doesn't wash me out like red does. Um, so pink is really my color. It looks really good on me. I feel like. Okay, now I've opened the pink eyeliner. I kind of wanna, taking off its cap. Ooh, it twists. 
Oh, that's interesting. That is so weird. The future is wild, man. It's not an eyeliner pen. Um, I'm used to have, I mean, pencils. Like, this is an eyeliner pencil. That's what I'm used to. So this is really cool. The future is here. Oh, gosh, that makes me super excited for the white one as well. Because, like, I know it's going to be the same way as the pink one. They're the same brand, same type of product, everything. They're just different color. Ah! No, it won't open. There we go. I win in the end. Just as I suspected. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. Okay. Okay, so now that I've opened up all of my makeup, I'm gonna just like set aside all the rubbish. I'll deal with that later because y'all don't y'all don't want to see me make trips uh, to just to throw away my rubbish right now. Y'all are here to see me put makeup on. And I'm here to provide that. Oh yeah, I'm not moving that star. I don't care. It's part of my look now. I had a zit start to form last night right here on my hairline. And I was like, oh, nope. Plop. Put that star right there to handle that. Um, okay, so here's my concealer again. I'm starting to run low on it. Like it's starting to run out. My setting spray again. Okay. I don't know why I just smelled it, but I felt the urge to smell it, so I did it. I don't know. I Sometimes I like the smell of makeup. But yeah, this one's giving very... Very ocean-y vibes. Like, lots of green and, like, teal and pink and sandy colors. I love it. This little thing is basically trash. Yes, let's just put it in the um, brush jar and just like neglect it there for the rest of time. Let's go ahead and open up this other one with all the pink tones. I'm really excited about this one here on the end. I don't know. It's just, it's a very nice subtle color and I feel like I can do a lot with it. Oh, yeah, I know it's not good for you, but I don't care. My neck gets so stiff and it hurts so bad. Okay, so let me think. What am I gonna do? It's a fun stuff, no doubt. Okay, um. Hmm. Hmm. Darn, I did move that. Okay, let's see. you up with my makeup bin. Nope, that did not work. Okay. On this channel, everything's raw. Unedited, unfiltered. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of my rings because they feel very distracting to me at the moment. Um but I guess that's just because like the fact that I'm trying to focus on like this task. Wow. I can really brighten up my eyes, I bet. Yeah, let me see. I did try to look for white mascara, by the way, and I did not succeed. It was Dollar Tree. That's like, it was Dollar Tree. So of course they were going to just have your standard black mascara and that was it. Um, which kind of sucked, but it is what it is. I'll have to probably go someplace special to find the white stuff. Okay, so the one downside of this stuff is, like, the pigmentation is very, very inconsistent. Um, I don't know. Let me, like, lean into the light better. Yeah, basically, I may as well have done absolutely nothing. So, I'm not even going to waste 
the energy. So let's go ahead and give the pink one a try. Let's see. Please be better. Please, God, let this be better. Okay, after, after a few passes, it starts to show up. That's really annoying. I wish I didn't break my ring light. But yeah, I think you can kind of see it a little bit. I've got it on the bottom lashes right now of that eye. And I'm gonna do the other. Okay, I did a few more passes to make it a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. I like that. See, now that I have pink eyeliner, I can stop using my eyeshadow as eyeliner. Um, let's see. Okay, now we're gonna need both hands. I'm gonna put the cap down. I'm gonna use my knees to hold up the mirror. Oh God, I hate it. No. Okay, doing the top uh, lid sucks with this thing. Um, it's just frustrating me and irritating my eye and for very little pigmentation. Um, so, I don't know. I always focus on the bottom lash line so much more than the top one because of the fact that there's usually eyeshadow up here, whereas down there, not as much. But I'm kind of putting eyeshadow everywhere. I don't care anymore. I'm following my rules now. Everyone else's rules of makeup don't apply to me, so I may as well just make up my own. Because nothing everyone else has said has ever looked nice on me, in my opinion. And the, and the thing about makeup is, is it's worn not only to look nice, but also to feel good. And if I don't feel good in it, if I don't feel confident or like it looks good on me, then of course I'm going to feel like a clown. So I got to find my own look. You know? So that's kind of what we're here doing is kind of just trying to develop and explore my own style. Ew. Forget about that. Not a vibe. I was sitting here like, oh, what if I did this? Wouldn't that be so cute? No. Yeah, I am just wiping it on my shirt. I don't care. The pigmentation is so light that on this dark shirt, it's not... Like, it's this shirt is dark and light at the same time. It's It's... You can't even see where I wiped it, so it's not a big deal. I don't care. 
Ugh, I hate this so much. Um, I need to get a better mirror situation and better lighting situation. I really do. But right now, I just can't. Just kind of like trying to do my... The hardest part about this is like not blinking. Oh my god, why didn't I think of this sooner? Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the white at the corner, just to give it a try, like I wanted to just see how I feel about that. Yeah, I think I kind of like that. Yeah. Oopsie. Oh, I haven't done the top, uh, the top part of this other eye yet. There it is. Okay. All right, here we go again. Let me just angle this up a little bit better. Okay, maybe if I this right out. That way you guys can see what I'm doing the mirror close to where the camera is. My left eye is my dominant eye. So it's like more difficult for me to have it closed and to do makeup on it very nicely. Okay. Okay. Now, if I knew anything about doing winged eyeliner, that would be wonderful. Don't you think? Okay. Oh my gosh, I forgot to even put on any concealer. I don't even care. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not redoing anything. I'm doing, I'm just doing things in the wrong order. I don't care. Okay. Because some reason we actually do care about those circles under the eyes, I guess. Well, actually, I just want to make it look really polished and clean. Well, as polished as I can get it to look with my ghetto makeup. So I'm just doing the concealer around my eyes. And you know what? This will help me hide any mistakes I made while doing the eyeliner. I'm going to pretend this was totally intentional and that I did not forget. You know, just go along with it, right? <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to redo the concealer at the bottom. Actually, no, no. I don't care. I'm gonna do this my way. Cause like, you know, it's my face ultimately. It's my makeup. It's how I'm ultimately gonna look in the world. So like, I don't know. And I really don't care what people think of me. I will go out in the world looking like a whole entire clown, and I don't care, you know? If I feel confident looking that way, you know, who can fault me? Okay, now I'm going to do the corner of this other eye here. Oh, God. Um...
Yeah, I think we look okay. Okay. Um, so I did pink eyeliner because I'm crazy with a little bit of white. Um, I wish there was a way to put the white like on my lashes, like the white eyeliner, but there's not. Not realistically, like it would just be incredibly difficult. Uh, an entire pain in the ass. Okay, so let's see. Hold on. So of course I've got my old palette out. I'm going to be using the white up here and this brush again. Um, so I'm just gonna like basically load it up really nicely and do my lashes. You know, because I'm probably clinically insane. Good. Put a little bit towards the corner there too of my eye. I don't know. I'm still working on it. And now I'm going to load it up and deal with the other eye. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I was blocking y'all. I'm sorry. Load it up with some more. I don't know why, like I know most people like to make their eyelashes flare up, but I like them to kind of be more downward. Um, I don't know if that's just because it looks better with my face shape or whatever, or like my eye shape or something, but I don't know, I just like it better. Basically, I want my eyelashes to look frosted. Yeah, frosted eyelashes. That's what I'm going to call it. I like a good frosted lash look. Kind of makes me feel like that Aurora trick. A chick, chick, chick. Oh, uh, gosh. Um, that musician. Y'all know who I'm talking about? Hold on a second. My nose is starting to run. It always runs when I do this. Oh, it's running because my eyes start watering. Duh. And I knew that. I've literally discussed it in the past. That's so insane. That I would forget that. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay. Here's how we're looking now. Um, the lighting is kind of rubbish. But I do like to hit the, my lashes really hard with that frosted look. I want it to look like I just came out of a blizzard and froze to death. 
<laughs> I want to look like a frozen ghost or something. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like it would look very ethereal, e ethereal and I'm going to love that. I just like to look that way. I like to look ethereal. And that's kind of my goal is to look ethereal. We're going to use this brush for the first time ever. We're going to load it up with this pale pink over here. Let's see how we feel about this. Now I'm going to like brush a little bit onto my hand. There's like no pigment. Okay, cool. So we're going to move on to the mauve. Okay, yeah, you see it picking up some pigment now. I suck at this. Oh well, I don't even care. I'll put it on like everything, you know what I mean? I don't care, I'll put it around my whole eye, I don't care. Put it all the way up to my brow bone and everything, I don't care. Like I said, I'm looking to, I'm, I wanna look otherworldly. I don't wanna look like I'm from Earth. I wanna look ethereal, like I'm a cryptid or something or a fae. So we're going to kind of put this darker pink in the kind of, kind of make my eyes look a little bit, I don't know. I'm kind of actually digging it. Like I said, I'm just totally winging it. So y'all are on a journey with me. We're both figuring this out together. I like when eyeshadow like goes along here like this, along the bridge of the nose. I just always thought that looks really tough and cool. And so I'm not going to apologize for doing it. The way I see it, if... um. Rich Lux can have those weird triangles on his eyes and everyone's okay with that, then I can do my makeup how I please too. Because, like, I don't understand. I don't think it's cute. Just that That's just my personal opinion. I just think it looks weird and I don't understand it. Like, if it was colorful or something, I think that would be cute. But it's not. It's just some white. Yeah. I'm actually really digging that. I know, that's, like, insane. Gonna drag a little bit more onto the actual lid now. Like it makes my eyes look more deeply set now. Um, I'm actually really happy with this. This is actually very lovely, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> I'm really, really basic. I, I'm very easily pleased. Now I'm gonna go in with the blush. I think this is the right kind of brush to use for it. If not, then I don't care. I don't always use the brushes for their correct intended job anyway. I use what my heart says. Cool, I look crazy. I love it. I don't actually mean like crazy crazy, you know what I mean? I just, being dramatic, being silly. I'm gonna redo my lashes because I feel like now the white will really pop.
I'm so excited for when I finally have a uh, white mascara. There we go. Yeah, I'm liking this so far. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. I got some on my eyelid again. There we go. I just dabbed it off. The nice thing about this having very little pigment, you can make mistakes. Just dab it a little bit and it's gone. Like it never happened. Wow. Do I not have the right nose shape to pull off the blushy nose look? Oh, that breaks my heart because I thought that I thought that was cute. I was so sad to see it go so soon. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. No, that's much better. I just had to get it distributed a little better. No, I'm not putting on foundation. I'm not going to put on foundation and I'm not going to bother with Yeah, I'm happy with this. Maybe a little bit on my chin. Yeah. I like the blushy look. Um, orangey tones, like bronzers and stuff, don't really look good on me. Um, so using a little bit of a blush color does look okay. And also, I know, like, the way that, like, it looks like my eyebrows are perpetually up based on, like, the contours of my face. It's so weird. Because, like, my natural eyebrows actually grow along here. And no, I'm not doing eyebrows. I don't like eyebrows. I don't like them on me. They look lovely on everyone else. They just don't look good on me, in my opinion. Okay, now we've got the black liquid eyeliner. And I bet you guys are wondering, what's he going to do with that? And, you know, that is an excellent question because I've been wondering the same thing. Mm-mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm str I'm struggling to make a decision here. Like, I know that it would be, like, easy to just, like, commit and do it and make a decision and just do it. But, like, for, for a lot of people. But, like, for me, it's just, like, I don't know. I'm, like, sitting here, like, do I want to try something new and interesting and strange and potentially ruin my entire makeup look in the process because this is black liquid eyeliner? And it's totally going to ruin the look if I mess it up. I love pink so much. I think it looks lovely on me. Okay. Let's like... Be about creating like a mini wing type moment here. With my pink eyeliner. That's not working really, but that's okay. That's okay. Maybe I'll just smudge it out. There. Okay. Um, let me get the white. I wish I had white liquid eyeliner. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. Oh, I love it. I put a little bit more on the inside corner here. Um, now let's look at this palette and see what speaks to us. Um, let's see. Let me grab a different brush. Uh, no, that's way too red. Okay, so I'm going to grab this small brush. I'm probably going to hate using it. It's a little bit stained because the bristles are white. 
Actually, you know what? Let me see if I have another brush that I can use instead. Maybe I could use this brush. It's angled, so I might like it better. Um, so I've got shimmery rose gold, shimmery pale pink, and several shimmery teal tones and green tones. I want to take a look at this green tone and see... This is how it looks. It's very pigmented. Wow, this is very pigmented palette. I'm actually surprised because it's from the dollar store. Like it's from Dollar Tree. It's not just from the dollar store. It's from Dollar Tree. The cheapest of all the dollar stores. I don't know. I feel like doing something a little adventurous. With this. Going along the crease. Blending it out a little bit, giving it a little bit of that like oceany vibe. Um, go along my brow bone. Okay. I don't know. Like, no, no. I've just ruined my makeup. <laughs> no, that was not a vibe. I've just ruined my makeup. I hate it. Okay. All good. But that's okay. We can fix it. That's the thing. Everything can still be... We can still come back from it. Tissues. Oops. Okay, and now we start all over on this eye. <gasps> wow. I'm really frustrated with myself if you couldn't tell. I don't know why I thought the green would do something, but I should have taken in consideration the color that I was already working with to start wasn't a pink enough tone. Like, I'm working with mauve. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Now let's see. Maybe we'll try the rose gold. No. Um, maybe I'll try this shimmery pink that's in the middle. This hot pinkish color. Oh gosh, I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, okay, we'll work with it, we'll work with it. Okay, I know exactly what I'm gonna do now. I'm allowing this, I'm using this to kind of go 
like along my crease and to kind of elongate here, kind of, you know? And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow that to kind of guide me because I'm about to do something really scary. Okay. Okay. I'm about to do something that's really intimidating to me. But, you know, feel the fear and do it anyway. Right? Okay. Liquid eyeliner. Oh, my God. I am so intimidated by liquid eyeliner. I'm not going to lie. Like, it really, it really intimidates me. I hate it. I hate what I've just done. But I only hate it because I took it too far, in my opinion. Oh, and it got all over my entire eyelid. Uh, and has stained my flesh. That's great. This is why I was intimidated by it. How many more times am I going to use this? Oh, no. <sighs> um, this is, I'm not going to lie, very frustrating. Yeah, no, no, it will not come off. Okay, um, ew. I'm gonna just have to completely redo the entirety of this eye. Okay, I finally got it to come off a little bit. Good enough, but now I gotta redo all of my um, concealer. I gotta wipe off my concealer as well because I all that liquid eye. I need a new concealer stick. Like it's down to the last little nub. Okay, fifth millionth time is the charm. As you guys can tell, I literally don't know what I'm doing. I'm just really glad that I'm finally at a place where I feel confident and comfortable enough in my skin to actually do this. Okay, got it. it. Took me a second to get this thing open. It was like fighting me. Okay, so now we're gonna redo the move. But hey, now you under like can see the difference between the two. Oh, there's my mirror. Oh boy. Wow. Okay. Now I'm going to, you know, make the edges blend them out a little bit, make them a little bit softer, more gentle, less harsh. Okay. Yeah, we're on the same page now. Good. Okay. Um Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um I'm going to go in with the white again at the end you know because right now I'm still playing around with stuff so I did not realize that this was going to need to dry like proper 
Like, it's gonna need to properly, like, dry, dry before I can, like, open my eye or whatever. Which is the problem, because I have such heavily, like, lidded eyes. Like... Mm. And especially for where I want to put it, it's kind of... Difficult. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Oopsie. My ragdoll Annie to hold. There we go. See, teamwork makes the dream work. Obviously. Okay. So intimidating. Uh... It's not the end of the world. If I mess it up this time, though, I'm not going to bother, like, trying again. I'm just going to say, forget it about the liquid eyeliner. This makes me very, very nervous. <sighs> and I still got it everywhere. Never mind. I'm done. No more liquid eyeliner for today. We're done. We're done. Ugh. I hate this so much. I've wasted so much makeup. I'm going to continue toying with it on my own until I get it uh, down. But I'm not going to, like, sit here and look, you know, trifling on camera for y'all. <laughs> like, I know that it's dollar store makeup and everything. So, it, like, already we're inherently in that territory. So... Okay... I almost considered getting some blue tones, too, because I was feeling very nostalgic. Remember when, like, blue eyeshadow was such a, like, thing? And now it's like everyone's like, ooh, nude tones. and Or they're, like, doing, like, really, really, like, super, like, crazy, like, glam looks. Which, um, I don't know. I don't think they'll look good on me, personally. Here we go again with the mauve. Take 50, 100. And then we're going to soften it out again. Soften out those edges. Because we don't want the harsh, we don't want the edges too harsh. Build up a little bit more pigment. Okay. Because I know that I do like this color and I do like it applied in this manner. That's why I keep redoing it because I'm like, okay, this is something that I actually really like. I've got a vision in my head of what I would like for my makeup to look like. Um, It's just not translating as much as I would like considering the struggle with the correct pigmentation of the palette. Palettes, actually, I should say. Let me just get these eyelashes. I'm not even gonna bother with the eyeliner. It's not like you notice it anyway. Like the pink. Whatever. I don't care. I kinda like put the um white like I put it on the top part of my lashes like this. Like on top of the lashes, almost dragging them downward, which is the direction they want to go anyway. So it always feels so unnatural trying to do the, the like get them to perk up. Or extend upward. Yeah, I am re redoing the lashes over here too. Because why not? Okay. And now for these bottom lashes. Okay. Okay. I think I'm... This is probably the best I'm going to get at the moment. 
um, until I feel a little bit more brave. So we've got some blush on, we've got some eyeshadow, we've got um, my eyelashes looking white and stuff. Um, I'm really liking the blush, actually. I'm really enjoying it. I don't know why, but I like feel like I look like a crazy person. These are my little flyways. They won't stay in my ponytail no matter what I try. It's not long enough to yet, so. But I don't like how foundation feels, but I can deal with blush. Which is why I use some blush. Okay, now the new makeup is in my makeup uh, container and is put away now. But anyway, this is the makeup look. Um, I'm still learning and trying to figure it out. Um, I think I'm going to continue working on it in my own time, um, make future videos. And as I get more comfortable uh, using it to begin with, I'll become more comfortable experimenting with it more and doing more outlandish stuff. So that's really exciting. This is like really exciting to do because I've never had a chance to do anything like this where I've like explored my makeup because I've always felt like, oh, well, makeup looks good on other people, but it doesn't look good on me. And that's because I was always trying to do it the way other people do it or other people were telling me to do it. And now that I'm exploring it for myself and trying to figure out what looks good on me, I feel like I'm finally approaching makeup correctly because we're all different and not every other like not everyone else's way of doing makeup is going to look good on everyone. So, we often have to just figure out for ourselves what looks good. Um, I really like, a, I really love blush. I know how dumb that is. Well, like, it probably doesn't look the greatest, all things considered. But, I don't know. I just really love blush. So, I, like, go heavy on it. I just, I like it everywhere. I love pink. I love to look very pinkish and very, like I said, I, with the white lashes. And, like, just, I want to look ethereal. I want to look otherworldly i want to look like a fae fairy or something i don't know now to put my rings back on so wild that i have to wear this on my thumb now like it's just it's still so loose and then my pinky ring and this is my grams's ring my great grandmother so i wear it on my index finger but yeah I hope you guys liked the video. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you so wish. Um, take care and have a beautiful day. I love you and I'll catch you later, Bratz Babes.